hope you're doing well welcome if it's your first time welcome back if you already subscribed if you have not subscribed already please go ahead and subscribe um so you can you know tune in to any of the words that the lord uh, speaks through me um yeah so <laughs> let's just go ahead and pray before we get into the word today dear heavenly father i thank you for this opportunity to serve as a mouthpiece father to speak the word that you have for me and your children to hear in this hour father i thank you father for protecting us for guiding us for always wanting the best for us father holy spirit have your way Think through me, speak through me in this hour, Holy Spirit. I decrease in the flesh so that you can increase, Holy Spirit. I ask, Father, that you reach us and you touch your children in this hour, Father, and bless them in a special way, Father. I thank you for it. I thank you for your son, Jesus, that came and died on the cross for us, that we might receive and enjoy your salvation, Father, that we would be able to, to reconcile with you, Father and to enjoy being in your presence and receiving your love. In Jesus' name I do pray. Amen. Glory to God. All right. So, brothers and sisters, um, the word I have today surrounds trust. So, the Lord gave me that word, trust, and then he started speaking through me. Um, in relation to Exodus sixteen twenty three, you know that's it's like Lord, do you have any scripture for this? Exodus sixteen twenty three. So, um, I'll just head here. It's amazing. This is the chapter about manna um, from heaven, and so even in that, the Lord was speaking to me. Um, Will you trust me to provide for you? You know. As you head out on this journey that I have sent you on, are you trusting me to provide for you, even in miraculous ways? Even if you don't know exactly where your provision is going to come from, where your resources are going to come from, where your drive is going to come from, where the fuel for your fire is going to come from, right? Do you trust me to provide that for you? Very simply, all right? Praise God. So before we get into verse 23, I just want to um, lay a bit of a foundation regarding this. So um, as the children of Israel began to receive manna from heaven, the Lord was revealing things to Moses, you know, concerning the um, the stipulations, we'll say, um, you know, different rules and regulations that came with harvest in this manna and using it right so um one thing is that as moses was saying to them let no one leave any of it over till the morning so the the israelites were supposed to eat all the manna from that day that day right verse 20 says but they did not listen to moses some left part of it till the morning and it bred worms and stank Right, so it's so deep, guys. Um, let me just get down to <laughs> verse twenty-three, and then we'll really like chop it up. Um, <clears throat> okay, so here is Moses speaking to the children of Israel again. He said to them, "This is what the Lord has commanded." Tomorrow is a day of solemn rest, a holy Sabbath to the Lord. Bake what you will bake, and boil what you will boil, and all that is left over lay aside to be kept till the morning. Feel the Holy Spirit, guys. Um, so, if you notice here, those are two different instructions that the Israelites received concerning manna. Firstly, they were not supposed to keep it overnight until the next day. And, uh, um, you know, those who disobeyed that f figured out <laughs> why, basically, because it started to to rot, basically, and um, it was filled with worms by the morning. 
But then in the second case, when the Lord did ordain for them to, or did approve for them to keep it overnight, then it was preserved until the next day. Right? And so we see these two <laughs> deferring instructions. Right? Which is interesting. And let me just read 24 and then we'll really get into it. So they laid it aside till the morning as Moses commanded them, and it did not stink, and there were no worms in it. <laughs> Praise God. So what the Lord really spoke to me in regards to this is, will you trust me this time, even though it looked a certain way the last time? Will you trust that it will look different this time? Right? Last time, you may have been tempted to go down a certain road that I had not blessed you to go down. Right? You might have, you might have even heard from me, don't go this way. <laughs> don't do that thing. Right? You know, something in you might have been saying, don't do this, don't do that. But you went to check it out anyways, and you found that the road was blocked. The Lord had not blessed you to go down there. The Lord had not instructed you to go down that way, right? It was not, it was not for you. But now the Lord is saying, do that thing. Go down that way that you tried to go down before. Do the very same thing that did not work out before. Now, it doesn't have to be exactly the same thing, but it could be in regards to the same area of your life. Um, it could look very similar. You know, it's just something that you tried before and realized, okay, <laughs> this is not working. But now the Lord is saying, do the thing <laughs> and I will preserve you. I I will bless you. I will favor that way. Will you trust me? Will you lay down your your preconceptions based on what happened before? Will you lay all that aside so that you don't miss it this time? Will you put all put all of that away? Will you put down any uh, emotional baggage you might have been carrying from that, from being rejected, from um, the failure of the past? Will you put all that down so that now when I am telling you to go, you will go. You will go and find the way clear, open, right? Because now the Lord is ordaining this for you. Now the Lord is saying, do this because my favor is on it. It's upon it. I, am, I have anointed you and appointed you to go this way, to do this thing. All right? My favor is there now. Are you going to be chained to fear based on the past, based on the past failure? When you did that thing prematurely, when you um, did not obey me, <laughs> you know, it wasn't time and yet you still tried for it to be time, <laughs> right? Are you willing to let all that go so that I can take you where you need to go now, so that I can take you down that road now, so that you can find the blessings that I have for you down that road now, because now they are ripe. Now they are ripe and ready for you to receive them. If you had gone down that way, if I had allowed you to keep down that way when you tried to in the past, you would have found unripe fruit. Not so pleasant, not ready, <laughs> right? But now it, the time is right for you to do that thing. I am there now. My glory is there. My grace is there. Um, my blessings are there ready for you. So trust me, the Lord says, trust me to carry you, to 
to trust that the way is open now, right? Whatever the Lord is speaking to you in this hour, um, as as tempted as you might be to doubt, <laughs> you know, like um, as tempted as you might be to to give into fear, right? Just trust. Override that with trust. You know, like click the override button. Override, override, <laughs> and replace that doubt and fear with trust. Believe. Keep on believing that the Lord is good. Um, of course, um, be really attuned to what He is saying. Be sure, of course, that you know um, you're clear on what He's saying. Um, keep in prayer about it, but don't let doubt get in the way. Don't let doubt prevent you from receiving the blessings of the Lord in this hour, okay? Don't let fear block you. Um, don't put your own, don't yourself put obstacles in your path, okay? Those obstacles of fear and doubt, because the Lord has cleared your path, right? The Lord has cleared your path. Um, I'm taken to like the concept of a mirage now, <laughs> right? So imagine you're walking through the desert, right? As I say, I haven't experienced this myself, but you're walking through the desert and um, you're just a little worn out, <laughs> right? And uh, how, however it is exactly it happens, but the desert's playing tricks on you like, um, oh, there is this rock, in the path, you know, and that's like you, like you give it into the doubt and the fear, you know, like the illusions. Um, oh, there's this rock in my path, but it's just an illusion, right? The Lord has made the way clear for you. He will provide for you in the desert. He will make streams of water flow in the desert, right? Um, for you, to nourish you, to sustain you. He will do all of that for you. Um, Unless you yourself block the lessons, right? Unless you believe those illusions of doubt and fear that are trying to prevent you from continuing that way that the Lord has prepared for you. Um, okay, so definitely recognize that for what it is, you know, any doubt and fear that might try to come up and keep on trusting that the Lord will get you through it. Um, trust that the Lord's favor is with you. If he's telling you to do a particular thing, then his favor is there. His favor will be upon you. His favor will meet you. Um, his glory will meet you. Um, you know, he's moving you from one, one level of glory to the next level of glory, okay? And um, the Lord just wants us to flow with him in this hour. Um, you know, it's a time to really be in tune with what the Lord is speaking and doing. Um, <clears throat> you know, I feel like encouraging you to pray, to, um, be able to tap in more fully, more deeply, more completely with the flow of God so that we can all move more in sync with him. Um, you know, not even delaying for even a second. Um, just flowing, just flowing, flowing. All right, so praise God. I feel like um, that's the fullness of <laughs> what the Holy Spirit would like me to say about it. Um, so, you know, just uh, thank you for tuning in. Um, I pray that this blessed you. I pray that this encouraged you in some way. Um, definitely um, take all this into prayer and ask the Father um, exactly how this might apply to you. Um, ask him for further revelation, um, more detailed instructions according to your 
particular situation. Um, but it's been such a joy um, sharing this message with you. So I pray you receive it. And with that, I leave you with the peace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Until next time, shalom and take care. Bye.